guys and dolls, it's me Cora. Welcome back. I am super excited about today's video. It's definitely one that is kind of a head scratcher I think at first because we have this modern bold makeup on my face and then like very vintage hair. It's kind of a blending of style but hey it's like a pinup rainbow. Today I am sharing with you a really fun rainbow eye tutorial using the new Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. Really excited about these. I did a review for these yesterday. Go check that out if you click the link right here or in the description bar down below. Okay, so now for the elephant in the room, my hair. I have been testing out different ways to wear my hair in a vintage style. I did a tutorial last year, or last year, last week, showing a kind of soft curl type of thing. I'm taking every opportunity I can get to practice, so I put my hair in pin curls for the very first time last night, and I wasn't about to wash it out just to make a tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, link in the description bar to a full list of products, all that nice neat junk, and let's get started. All right, so we are starting out this video today with the most painfully boring part, the applying of the eyeshadow base. I typically show you guys this step just to show you what in fact I used, just because sometimes it can have an effect on the overall outcome. Like in this case, this one acts like a concealer and eyeshadow base in one. Sometimes I just use one that just prevents creasing. I always like to show you guys that step. Now we are going into the crease with a super awesome bright coral color. I'm using a nice dense fluffy brush to apply this. This is going to give me such a beautiful contrast to the colors we're going to put on the lid. This shade Poppy is really close actually to the color of my hair right now, which is, it almost makes it neutral. It's such a beautiful matte eyeshadow. I highly recommend picking that one up if you're into coral eyeshadows. It would also pair really well with purples and pinks. Picking up Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, and this is such an amazing transitional color. It's perfect for any kind of warm look. I don't care if you're doing purples or burgundies or if you're doing something coral and bright and sunny like this. It has such an amazing texture, and it softens out everything, blurs it out, makes the, the blend perfect. It's just, it's the best friend color of any kind of warm eyeshadow look you're doing. And then, of course, I had to hit up my favorite highlight. This is Urban Decay Walk of Shame eyeshadow. This is my absolute favorite highlight. It's matte. It's a perfect color. It's just, oh, it's so amazing. And unfortunately, it's only available in the Naked Basics palette, which is a major bummer. This eyeshadow that I'm using is amazing. It is a super metallic amber color. It is, I mean, I mean you're going to see what this does to my eyes. It makes them so incredibly blue. It's kind of obnoxious. And this color would also, I think, pair really well with some sort of like bronzy colors, maybe even like a greeny bronze or black. This is going to be a color I can see myself wearing a lot. It's very similar to Max Amber Light. Slightly different texture, slightly different color, but mm, close enough for jazz. Next, I'm taking a lighter, brighter gold. This is Fortune Teller from Make of Geek. It is an amazing yellow gold. This is so pigmented, it kind of knocks my socks off. This color is interesting because it can kind of go a little bit cooler toned. It has a slightly green undertone to it, so if you want to pair it with greens or blues or something, it's going to go with them well, which is why it works well with this overall rainbow look. But paired with the warmer colors, it also plays well with those. Then what I wanted to do for the wings liner was I went ahead and mapped it out with my usual black eyeliner. This is something I like to do whenever I'm doing a really bold, colorful liner. For some reason, when I try to just go in straight with the crazy colored liquid eyeliners, I always mess up. Occasionally, I can get it right, but just when I'm filming a tutorial or something like this, I want to get it as perfect as possible. So I start in with the black liner. This is a really good recommendation for anyone who is doing a bolder color of eyeliner is to go ahead and go under it with either a brown or I'm using black. You could even use a white as a base underneath it just to kind of get an idea of where you're going to be mapping that out. Then I went in with my Jordana liner and in terms of the placement I kind of just showed you this with the black but I start out with the outer wing and then I bring it back, tuck it back into the line, bring it as close actually to the lash line as possible, really make sure that's nice and solid, fill the color in of course, and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that tip is nice and precise. Once I have less product on the tip of the brush, this is great. This is actually a brush tip, which is uncommon from a drugstore liquid liner. The other thing I want to say about this eyeliner is it does stain pretty bad. Um, I, I can discuss this more at length in a review video, but it, I was pretty shocked by how much it stained. To make my inner eye area a little bit wider set, a little bit brighter. I'm taking Starry Eyed, which has a pink tone, which goes really well with the color we have in the outer crease. Now, when you've got a nice, bold, colorful liner, I highly suggest putting a liner on the bottom as well. It's going to marry the bottom lashes with that top wing and make it look a little bit less out of place. I'm using a kind of a purpley blue color as my liner 
at about halfway across the lid and then I'm taking my masquerade eyeshadow which is more of a pinky purple by putting that blue color down for one it's going to marry nice with the color that we have on the top lid as our wing but it's also going to affect the tone of the eyeshadow that I put on top of it so it's going to make it a little bit more of a true purple instead of a purple pink Next I'm taking Pegasus and I'm just going to put that right next to Masquerade. They blend together really well and this is going to give us that great rainbow look of having, you know, on the top we have our yellows, our oranges, our corals, our electric blue, and then on the bottom we have our purple, our aqua, and then our beautiful mint eyeshadow, which is what I'm putting on right now is actually a base for that eyeshadow. This is Mint Julep from Stila. This stuff is amazing. It's not really my favorite on its own, but it works really well as a base for other things. Whereas if you want like a minty eyeliner to use on its own, try Stila's Turquoise. Just a little fun fact for you. And I'm just placing Fantasy on top of that. It really makes it pop. It makes it super opaque. A little bit of black eyeliner on the inner rim never hurt anybody. It really makes a rainbow eye really pop. And then in terms of what I did for my foundation, I am super, super fast forwarding this. It's nothing all that revolutionary. It's, you know, concealer, foundation, powder, everything I always do. If you're really interested in what I used, I will have a full list of products in the description bar down below for you guys. I am going to show you guys, however, what I did for blush. This is Makeup Geek Bliss. This color is so pretty. I'm obsessed. And I always like to show you guys blush because I feel like that's so much more important to an overall look. Like, sometimes the foundation is just the foundation, but the blush... You know, I do try to coordinate that as best I can to the overall look. Uh, eyelash torture device. Always got to get that crimp in and the mascara on. I will let you guys know what I think of this mascara in my upcoming monthly faves video. It's my mascara of the month. And now I'm taking two pairs of lashes. You can see there's a red bit at the outer portion. I took a little half lash from Miss Adoro and placed it and glued it onto this House of Lashes pair of lashes. Another thing else you'll notice is when I was placing my lashes, I got a little bit of glue on the yellow part of the eyeshadow. I'm going to fix that in just a second. I'm just going to put a little eyeshadow over it to fix it. Or maybe I didn't show that. Eh, whatever. That's what I did to fix it. And then a little lip primer for your lips. And I, this one actually like a little bit of it broke off and I was like, what the hell? So I just blended it in. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. And then for my lipstick, we've got Melt Cosmetics Shady Lady. One of the most amazing fuchsia lipsticks ever of all time. It actually, on camera, it looks much more red than it does in person. In person, it's definitely more of almost like a purple fuchsia. It's insanely bright. It's insanely pigmented. This stuff stained my lips for up to a day. It is so... It's almost too pigmented, really. So I put that on all over, and then just to clean up the lip lines, I use OCC Hoochie Pencil, which is technically more purple than this. But one thing, you guys have asked me before, why do I do the lip liner after the lipstick? I'm almost using it like a lip pencil to go ahead and clean up the lines and drag the lipstick itself around a little bit while it's still emollient from just being placed on. The other thing, too, is you guys saw me put the primer on first. The Melt lipsticks are super dry, like trying to draw on your face with crayon dry. So that's why I put the primer on and everything to make it emollient, make it slip on. And I'm just adding a little bit more of the lipstick, make it nice and opaque. And that's the finished look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking it out. This is a fun, fun look to do for summertime, springtime, any old time you need a little bit of a rainbow eye. I want to remind you that there will be a link in the description bar to my Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows review as well as a full list of products. Yada, yada, yada. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be vintage or tacky just for yourself. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.